Go Blue. Maybe you can see that in the background. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Ramey, WPEX, and I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour here of the Hernstein Field Complex. This, of course, is going to be replaced one of these days very shortly, and uh, we wanted to take one last look at Hernstein Field's press box area and also the views that you can see or that I had the opportunity for 30 plus years of uh, covering Cavalier football and track and field and everything uh, from this location. Uh, we want to share that view for you before the press box is replaced by a new one. Uh, we mentioned to you just a moment ago that when we do our games from Chillicothe High School, right over about in that area, the press box, that's where we do our broadcast. Of course, there are coaches and the timer and everything up in the very top. And of course, the PA and everything happens on this lower level. And then you've got the rooftop, which is my favorite view from Hernstein Field. We'll see if we can take you up there and give you an idea of what it looks like from a higher view. Maybe the new press box will look something like that. So our fingers are crossed. Right now, let's take you inside to the press box. Now, you've seen everything else about Hernstein Field, but inside the press box, different stories. So let's bring you in to get a chance to see what I see on a Friday night. This will be where visiting radio and spotters would sit. And then down along the line, we have newspaper. They would sit right about here. Here is where your PA announcer would stand and watch the game from here. He would have a spotter with him to help out. Chillicothe's statistics would be right about here. And then this is the view that Pat Highland would get on a Friday night and the view that I would get on a Friday night from the press box here at Hernstein Field. Now, if you take a look down here, you'll see a gaping hole. This is where they put in a new sound system just before last year for the public address system. Sounded fantastic. However, it kind of took a little space from where I used to stand, right at the very corner of this press box. I moved over, and then I would get this view at Hernstein Field. Earlier we were on the media level of the press box where you have the PA announcer, the statisticians and everything. Well, there's one level above that. That's where the assistant coaches are and the film crews. Used to, the film crews could go on the very top of Hernstein Field's press box and that's where I'm standing now. And this is the view that you would get to see on a Friday night. All the field at Hernstein Field. Of course, it's all grass right now, but one day it'll be turf much like what we have down along the sideline. The Chillicothe Paints made a donation to the football program, installed some of the field turf that they had left over from repairs and things they did out of VA Memorial Stadium. And this gave the Cavaliers a bit of an advantage on a rainy night where they didn't have to worry about standing in mud while the opponent did. The home side, a little home field advantage if you know what I'm talking about. Of course, we have high school track and field here. The uh, Phil and uh, Bob Bobo track, you see it going around. That is to remain the same, but they'll be putting a turf in. You see the stadium stands, the visiting stands, which were put in before the 2012 football season. And then you also have the track and field high jump area. Beyond the pine trees, you'll find the pole vaults and long jump pits. And also over here where Garen Ferris used to throw the discus all the way over to where those kids are playing. Beyond that, into those backyards for uh, some record discus throws with the shot put and discus area right here for the track and field. Of course, uh, much of this will be changing soon at Hernstein Field. It will have a beautiful complex and very much looking forward to that. And uh, some new digs too, but for a final time, a final view from atop the press box here at Hernstein Field. Now it's time to go downstairs, and here's the view I get from, uh, yeah, that's down to, and if I, I don't want to go down that way, not in a free fall at all. So here we go. It takes a little level of talent to do this. You got to do it backwards. Of course, without a camera crew, it's hard to do this. Oh, look here. Uh, what do we have here? It's uh... Ooh. 
oops, I guess, uh, <laughs> I broke the rules, sorry. One of the things about the grandstand area here at Hernstein Field were the bathrooms. Um, when this was all put in a number of years ago, this was called the lap of luxury. We're about to take you into the men's room. If you come to use the bathroom at a home game, you see what we've been dealing with here. That will soon change once we get the new facility. Of course, while we're here, a lot of folks have enjoyed some wonderful food from the concession stand down this way. So we'll take you a quick look at the concession stand. We don't have access to the inside, but we can tell you this is where a lot of hot dogs, burgers, nachos, and well, of course candy bars and things like that, and Pepsi-Cola products have been consumed from that location. The Bam Boosters usually uh, host there. Now, let's take you to the field. The field level at Hernstein Field. Of course, you can see it's track and field season, so the hurdles are up, and our Cavaliers will be hosting the uh, Cavalier Club Invitational, which will be coming your way towards the end of April. And this is what Cavaliers would see when they would look back at the press box and hear, Touchdown Cavaliers! It's all right up here in this press box area. Many have asked, why do we need to try and replace some of this? Well, over the years, a lot of replacement's been done. You see the cracks in the foundation and all along the way. But uh, also, the birds have a way of nesting and making their way here at Hernstein Field. But you can see some of the uh, conditions. It's this that we hope to get replaced soon. This is all part of that Cavalier pride in which you want to be able to show off your facility. Uh, we have about three home track and field meets a year, five football games, of course, but very difficult to be proud of deterioration. Crews have tried to repair what they can over the years. In fact, some of that has not been replaced, but has been painted over. But it's glimpses of this to create hazardous issues. And this is the home side, and that could be difficult for our fans who come to watch our Cavaliers on a Friday night. And before the freshmen and the JV get upset, yes, on a Thursday night or a Saturday night too. And here's another part that not everybody gets a chance to see, the storage area, which has seen better days. If you take a look and there's Mr. Bumblebee looking at us right there. But you see the old brick structure from the grandstand that was built back in the 1930s. Probably some tires over there that Garen Veris probably ran through back in 1980. I know he had the broken ankle and everything. Maybe, maybe he didn't get to run through those. So there you have it, a final look at Hernstein Field before the renovations begin. Uh, things are scheduled to start sometime in May, and uh, hopefully we'll have everything ready to go in time for the very first football game, which will take place at CHS on week number three. That should be pretty cool. First of all, it's Friday the 13th. Second of all, it's against my alma mater, Taze Valley. So fingers are crossed, but the football season begins in late August. I'm very much looking forward to seeing it get underway, and we hope to see you at the new Hernstein Field.